Now that we've edited and adjusted everything to our liking, we're almost ready to mix down our session. But before we do, it's always a good idea to apply some finishing touches by using a variety of mastering effects to our production. So these three tracks, music, speaker A, and speaker B are all set. I need to make some adjustments to our master output here. So each one of these has its output set to the master, and the master itself has the output to our default output, which are basically our speakers. Let's go ahead and switch on our effects. So we're in inputs and outputs right now. I can change this to effects, and look at that. Inside of my master and also my other tracks, I have the ability to apply specific effects here. Now we can apply the same sort of effects that we placed in our effects rack when we were dealing with a single file, or we can do something a bit different. So let's actually go through and add some effects here. I'm gonna go down to special. And here we can actually see under special that I have one that's specific for mastering. So let's choose that. Here's our mastering effect dialog, and I can assign a number of presets here. So room for vocals. If we choose that, it's going to dip around here so that the vocals really shine. So this is a little equalizer. We have a number of different things going on here. We've got our equalizer. We've got our reverb. So if we wanted to add reverb to this, it doesn't make a lot of sense in this case. In the case of a podcast, there's an exciter, and that's at 20% right now, a widener at 100%, a loudness maximizer. Now, this is really important because this is going to increase the overall volume of our mix. And we've got output gain as well. So let's go ahead and have a look at this and see how things are going to sound based on the mastering that we've got right here. What did you do with the rest of the body? None of us wanted to leave it there. It was too gruesome. We eventually, after some so discussion, notice if I change the loudness maximizer the up, left it out for the animals. That we get some clipping here. That so we've got to be very careful. Changed my life. I'm gonna put that at about forty percent. Well then, thank you so much for speaking with us today, and I'm sure our listeners found your tale to be quite interesting. And maybe put the, the output gain up a bit in too. in great detail in your upcoming book, and we encourage everyone listening to check it out. All right, so all we have to do is close out of there if we want, and we can toggle this on and off just as we did with our effects rack when we were in editor view. Of course, you can stack all these different effects, and you can even apply them from your effects rack here. Notice if we choose a preset. So if I go through here and choose an effects rack preset. So I'm just going to choose podcast voice. Well, look at that. What happens is it puts all of our effects rack presets here. And those are also applied to our master track. So if you had a specific set of effects in your effects rack that you had used for a single track, you can even apply them to your master output on a track like this to create the perfect master. <laughs>